Hello students, in this video we shall discuss question number 5 of exercise 2.3, chapter 2 polynomials. Factorize, this is the first question, x cube minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. Factorize means to find out the factors of the given polynomial. Let p of x equals to whatever is written here, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. Next step, find out the factors of this number, 2. So, factors of 2 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, 1 into 2 is 2, minus 1 into minus 2 is 2. So, that's why these are the factors of 2. Now, by trial method, we will find out which factor is giving us 0. So, P of x, first we will find P of 1. We take x as 1 and we will substitute 1 in place where x is there. So, that is 1 cube minus 2 1 squared minus 1 plus 2. 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 minus 2. 1 into 1 is 1. So, 2 1 is a 2. Minus 1 plus 2. So, minus 2 plus 2 cancels out. 1 minus 1 0. So, this is 0. Which means P of 1 is equal to 0. So, X minus 1 is a factor of p x this we know because of the factor theorem factor theorem states that if p of a if p of a is equal to 0 a is any number then x minus a is a factor of the given polynomial so this is by factor theorem you can just mention that. So now we got one factor of this given polynomial. So we will find the other factors using long division. When we do long division, we will use this as the dividend and x minus 1 as the divisor. So we would write x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. This is the dividend and x minus 1 is the divisor. So x minus 1 is the divisor. We divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So x cubed divided by x, x cubed divided by x, x cancels out to x squared. So here the first term of the quotient is x squared. Now multiply x minus 1 by x squared. x minus 1 into x squared. If you do, you would get x cubed minus x squared. x cubed minus x squared. This you need to write down here. x cubed minus x squared. Subtract this product from the dividend. So when we subtract, the sign would change. Here there is no sign. That means plus sign. So this will become minus minus will become plus okay the sign changes when we are subtracting so x cubed minus x cubed cancels out minus 2 x squared plus x squared that is minus x squared bring down the next term minus x now this is the new dividend and the divisor remains the same x minus 1 same step you have to follow take the first term of the new dividend and the first term of the divisor to get the second term of the quotient. So minus x squared divided by x. x cancels out we get minus x. Minus x multiply minus x by x minus 1. So x into minus x is minus x squared minus 1 into minus x is plus x. Subtract when we subtract the sign changes, minus will become plus, plus will become minus. Now, 
forget about this sign x squared minus x squared plus x squared okay minus x squared plus x squared so cancels out minus x minus x minus 2x bring down the next term plus 2 so now what should we multiply here by x minus 1 to get minus 2x same way minus 2x divided by x x x cancel minus 2 so minus 2 multiply x minus 1 by minus 2 that would be minus 2x minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 subtract sign change plus minus minus 2x plus 2x 0 plus 2 minus 2 0 so this will give you 0 obviously this is a factor so the remainder will be 0 this is our quotient so we can write e of x equals to x minus 1 is one factor and this is the second one x squared minus x minus 2 this is a trinomial this can further be factorized by splitting the middle term we need two numbers whose sum is minus 1 the middle term is minus x so we need two numbers whose sum is minus 1 and product is minus 2 that is we can take um, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. So the two numbers could be minus 2 and 1 equals to this remains as it is x minus 1 big bracket here split the middle term minus x write as minus 2x plus x minus 2 minus 2x plus x is minus x equals to x minus 1 common factor of the first two terms x x minus 2 plus the next two terms x minus 2 now we got the factors as x minus 1 from here x plus nothing is there means 1 x plus 1 and x minus 2 x minus 1 x plus 1 and x minus 2 so we would write this as x cubed minus 2 x squared minus x plus 2 equals to x minus 1 x plus 1 x minus 2 these are the factors so i hope the steps are clear to you first we find out the factors of the constant term then by trial method we see which one would give us a zero that would be one of the factor then use long division then use the splitting term method to find out the other factors for this quadratic polynomial and this is your final answer if you have any queries you can put it in the comment section in the next video we will do part 2 of question number 5 thank you